New tonight, police say a 16-year-old driver with three other teens in the car caused this deadly crash in Commerce City, and they say alcohol may be involved. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez live at Highway 2 in Locust in Commerce City. Lance, you found out all the teens in that car go to Adams City High School. Jacqueline, police are telling us that the teens were in a car that was southbound on Highway 2 and that the car started to go off the road, so the driver overcorrected and started fishtailing into the northbound lanes where it struck and killed a 52-year-old motorcyclist. You can see the motorcycle lying up against the Dodge Neon in this video from Air Tracker 7. Police aren't saying how fast the Neon was traveling, but they do say it was over the speed limit. The motorcycle rider um, was struck virtually head on by the side of the vehicle and uh, he was thrown back uh, a good distance from where the initial impact occurred. The big question tonight revolves around alcohol. Where were the kids drinking? School got out at 2.30. The crash occurred at 3 p.m. Were they drinking in the school parking lot? I don't believe so, but we don't know yet. We'll, we'll find out. It is an ongoing investigation. We'll continue to cooperate. Um, I could tell you we will find out. The two boys in the car were apparently last seen at this hair salon in Commerce City. The staff telling 7 News they came in to make an appointment. The driver of the Neon, a 16-year-old girl, was the most seriously injured of the four teens. We've learned her identity but are withholding it until police release more information. Her brother posted a message on his Facebook page saying she squeezed my mom's hand while they were praying in her room. That driver will likely face charges. The investigation, as I mentioned, is criminal and it is serious in nature. Uh, the charges uh, that we're evaluating are vehicular homicide. And we learned today that the driver, that 16-year-old driver, simply had a learner's permit by state law. She should have only had an adult 21 years of age or older in the car with her. She had two 16-year-old males. They were taken to Children's Hospital with serious injuries, but non-life-threatening injuries. She also had an 18-year-old female friend in that car. That friend was treated and released. In Commerce City, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.